Hey, Simply Travelicious Babies. We are back with the fourth and final video. In this video, we are going to be talking about basically your checklist, to-do list, stuff you need when traveling or should have, must have, all of that. So for one, let's first get into like when you're traveling, depending on how you're traveling, if you're traveling by plane, Lord, please, because I've had like two mess ups when it comes to traveling on planes. Please make sure that you are up early, like at least maybe four to five hours before you got to take that flight because you need to be at the airport at least three hours ahead of your flight because there's so much stuff you have to do when you get to the airport. Please, 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 whether you need passport or an ID or just the ID, please make sure you have it. I have my graduation, I was um, catching a plane to Georgia with my aunt back. She had came down here to visit me for my graduation. I was supposed to be taking a flight back with her. Everything was good. We got there on the time we were supposed to be there. But then I realized that I didn't have my ID because I had left it in another bag at home. So my aunt had to take that flight without me. And I had to come back here to get my ID. And I was eventually <coughs> like, excuse me, y'all. I had like a whole bunch of money racked up from my graduation. So eventually I had just took a Uber back home to go get my ID and I was able to get another later flight. But when I tell y'all I was at that airport forever because the flight that I was getting kept getting delayed. It was like all of the worst things were happening. But I ended up making it. It's just I didn't get to go do the stuff with my aunt that she wanted to do. We were supposed to go see another one of my friends graduate. But I couldn't make it because of my simple mistake. So please make sure you always have your ID, passport, everything you need. Because when it comes to airports, they don't play. <laughs> if you're not there at the time they want you to be there and getting ready to board on the airplane, you got to go back home or pay for another flight. And they are so serious with that paying for another flight. Like, And flights are already expensive as it is. So you don't want to be in a situation like that where you're paying for another flight. Just keep it like that um to do list things you need to like if you're if you're one of those people who like to get new clothes before traveling somewhere i mean if it's somewhere basic like right around the corner from you you don't really need to pay, um buy new clothes unless you've really never been to that state before and you want to go all out but like if you're gonna buy clothes make sure you make sure you're saving money ordering clothes um bathing suits whatever you need in advance so that it gets here on time before your flight and stuff Make sure you always have you a good suitcase that could fit, like, all the stuff you need. Even if you're taking a short trip, I feel like packing multiple outfits is a must. You really should pack multiple outfits. I actually had an incident with this, too, when I went to Puerto Rico with my friends. I don't know what I was thinking or, like, did I leave some clothes at home or something because I was very underpacked. Because we, we would go, like, multiple places in one day, and I think I only packed one bathing suit for one one bathing suit and then like I just didn't have enough outfits but I ended up making it work and was able to buy like some shorts for my friend because it was a mess please be prepared and don't be like me because I'm such a forgetful person but um whether you're getting a hotel or airbnb you should always bring your own toothbrush and toothpaste because I actually don't think I ever seen anybody or any hotels provide toothbrushes. They provide soap and stuff, but they don't provide toothbrushes and toothpaste. So, like, that's a must. You need to keep them teeth clean. Um, It depends. If you're a wax person and want to get a wax, go get the wax ahead of time before your, um, before your trip. But if you're a shaving person, you know, you might want to bring your shaving cream and razors so you can have that for the trip because you want to look nice and slick when you're going somewhere else that's not really your natural homebound um what was i just talking about waxes now that i said that make sure you have your whatever appointments lined up and don't run into nobody that you feel like would cancel on you because it wasn't before trips, but hairstylists, nails, whatever you're getting done, they can tend to, like, switch up stuff on you, appointments. 
and like I know a lot of people like to make appointments right before they're about to go but sometimes it's not the best maybe at least do like five days before because I oh, don't know they be trying to switch it up on you real fast and then next thing you know you're going to your trip without your hair done because they canceled on you or something so make sure you have any appointments that you're doing lined up that's one thing make sure you bring like all type of shoes comfortable shoes for if y'all just going going somewhere to look regular um shoes that match your attire of course um sneakers if you need it um i believe you should bring your own like i don't really like using soap that they provide at places so i really think bringing your own soap is a must as well don't leave your house without no deodorant either you do not want to be in no other state being musty and i know y'all probably like you can go buy this stuff in the place you're at but like why would you do that when you should have just had it before you feel me everybody got this stuff at home so just carry it with you or even you know dollar stores or walmart they have travel sizes so go get, go rack you up on a whole lot of travel size stuff to take you on a nice trip and they'd be very cheap so and money 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 when you are going on a trip it don't matter where you're going if you know you're planning on a trip that's at least a few days make sure you save up some money and put some money to the side for a trip because you don't want to be one of those people who's either running out of money or knew you didn't have enough money to begin with and you're like dwelling on other people to help you pay for stuff you do not want to be that person you'll never get invited on a trip anymore and <clears throat> i think it's like just common sense to have your own money for stuff like trips so just be mindful of that and like be mindful that somebody else had to save up their own money for them for the trip so to have to pay extra for you would be like a lot and if you're not able to pay them back that's even worse so money is very important to have when you're going on these trips mm -mm, what else i think that's pretty much everything when leaving these trips make sure you have everything with you with that being said coming leaving home without id is different because at least it's still at home but leaving somewhere like a hotel or airbnb leaving your id that will be so bad because you don't know if the people already came in and moved your stuff or just having to go back and missing a flight back home is even worse than missing a flight when you're already home so like please always be prepared be mindful gather your things up gather your things up going there and gather your things up going back make sure you have everything maybe even make a checklist of everything you had and like check through before you're leaving so you know you have everything but yes just be safe when traveling make sure you have everything you need and that's all i have to say bye guys thanks for tuning in today